Okay, here's the first test run of the Toyota motor generator. I think it might be rated for 50 kilowatts maybe, and like 650 volts or something like that. And I think it's the same motor that they use in the Lexus hybrid also, I'm not sure. It's a four pole pair motor and it's an interior permanent magnet uh, motor, so you have to modify the ID IQ controls so that ID is not zero, it should be negative. And this test is just with the ID being zero, but I have the correction programmed in, I just haven't found the ideal saliency of the motor yet, but I'll just run some tests and figure out what gives it the best torque per amp. This is with the case off, just so you could see the actual motor spinning. It'll, you can spin it either way, no big deal. Just positive or negative throttle. And this is controlling torque rather than speed. I mean, it measures the speed, but it's just controlling torque. That's probably good. There's a zoomed out view where you can see the resolver wires going to a little board that converts those to encoder signals for the controller. So I'm trying to see how slow I can get it to spin. This is with, by the way, this is with it all put back together again. So now you can see the little things that attach to <laughs> some other thing to make the car go. I'm not really a mechanic, so <laughs> I don't know what this is called. You could spin this either direction, but I I think in this I just have it spinning one way. It spins faster, a little bit faster one way rather than the other way. It used it seems to use less power spinning it one way. Probably because the Hello, I'm Josiah. Just so you know, I was the one that did the lighting, so please subscribe. Soon we have my own website and stuff. Uh, please subscribe. You really need the views and all the other weird stuff. It's a weirdly weird thing, but please subscribe and please watch the whole video. Also, probably won't count as a view, but please watch <laughs> the video.